All right, welcome back everybody. Um, today we are going to take the CV boot off of this uh, 300ZX twin turbo axle. There is a hole right here where it's leaking and we are going to replace it with a new one. So we'll go ahead and get started with that by cutting these two clips off. All right, in order to get this boot off, you have to cut these two clamps, bigger one, smaller one, and then take your screwdriver running around the edge to break the seal and pull the boot back. And then from there, um, we will take this end off. So I don't know if y'all saw that, but you literally just have to beat the crap out of it. Now, I'm not taking all that apart to clean all that out. It's not worth my time and effort. I'll try to clean it out the best I can like this. And then I'll wipe down that, replace the boot, put new grease in. Other than that, that's all I'm doing. If y'all want to know what I was trying to get off, I'll show you in just a second. So what I was trying to get off was this snap ring right here. And there's another one on the inside here. smaller than this one there it is so there's what I was trying to get off and you can see hopefully see how they set one tire than the other one constantly that's what I was dealing with trying to put these in here and see it won't even do it real well now and then push this open to get it around I'll be right back. All right, now we're all cleaned up on that. We're going to grab our new CV boot. Grease and rings. Make sure to put this ring on or send it down. Put this on. Put 
Send that down. I'll put this snap ring back on. For having a bit, it probably won't go back on now. These would stop switching back and forth on height. Could probably get this thing on and off very quickly. But once again, junk tools. Can't blame anybody but myself for going to buy them. All right. At least on the splines on the axle. All right, ladies and gents, we are. Officially in, I'm gonna give it some taps to make sure it's locked in. Alrighty, I think we're in. Now, Get our grease up here. I'm just doing a little corner because I don't want this going everywhere. Let me put this ring on. This new one. Welcome back. Uh, the last CV boot was wrong, so I had to order a new one. Supposedly this one fit, so we're gonna try to go ahead and put that on now.
boots on, we're gonna slide it down even further. So let me get this snap ring on. This is one that came with the other uh, boot. This is one that came with the boot that I just ordered. Can't even get it open. So we're gonna use this one, because it fits. Now comes a bunch of yelling. More than likely to get this darn thing going. If I just get it over the edge here, I could probably get it most of the way. I think we're almost on there. Just getting past this little edge. We're actually getting it on the shaft itself. Once we get it on the CV axle shaft, we should be good. Wow. I'd like to show y'all up close in person. I mean, you kind of see what I'm trying to do, but I'd like to show you up and close in person, but until I either get somebody to film for me or a GoPro, this is the best I got. And tip for everybody out there that goes to do this when you order your, you get your tools and everything else. Try not to get your tools greasy, because I think that's one thing that's making it harder. one side Pass this other ring. I should probably put it on second, but maybe this will help press it in there.
Ow. And you're essentially supposed to take those tools and like just walk it down but they're not really that great so I'm gonna hit it down little by little on each side with a screwdriver. Until we hear it click. Make sure she's seated, she spins around. Pull this loop back up into its little groove and we messed up. Make sure you have that on before you do what I do. Because now this stupid ring's got to come back off. And once I get this ring off, I'll come right back to. Alright, <clears throat> now that that's on down here, all that, we're gonna tighten this one up because I want to I like to tighten this up before I go to put the grease in and everything. Hopefully it won't come out. I don't know how well I'll be able to get this in view, but we'll try. Nor do I know if this one, this tool is even going to be the appropriate tool for, because I don't think that's going to be long enough. So, do we just... God damn it! <sighs> oh. 
Well, so y'all hear it from me. Don't use cheap fucking things. And these are what I call fucking cheap. These, on the other hand, are pretty good. So, what we're going to try to do is go ahead and secure this other end with this. Put grease in and hopefully we can find some of that. So you know this grease actually doesn't smell as bad as the other stuff. I don't know what was what I got sent from Rock Auto. I always tend to have decent luck with them, except for out of this CV boot that I had ordered before this one. And this one I got from Amazon, surprisingly, but I checked the uh, number to. The product number on um, concept I think it's concept Z performance it might be concept performance okay <clears throat> I don't know why I really put that much on there but on the top See, this one goes up and over. The question is, is this always seated? Sounds good to me. I don't think it's coming off. I really hope this one works because the other one sucks, as y'all saw. I know it's supposed to be the factory OEM CV boot clamp, but it doesn't really work like you would expect it to. My hands won't stop sliding around this one long enough to see if it'll work. I don't think it's big enough. And if it is, it's going to be barely, which is going to cause it to possibly cut into the CV boot. And then we'd be at square one. So, let's try the junky one that they sent. The problem was when I folded it over on the other one is when it broke.
Ooh. Don't you break. I think we almost got her. Wipe the layer down for just a minute, y'all. Okay, the top one's on. That one wasn't as bad. But the bottom one, I'm gonna have to see if I can find one that's like this to put on because I'm not taking all this apart to put a new one on of the OEM style. But other than that, we have officially repaired the CV boot. We've put this band on, put our thing back in. Only thing I gotta do is get a band for the bottom. All right, so I didn't film this part. However, I ordered these that came in because I needed universal clips. Sorry, cat's in the way. Universal clips for uh, the CV boot. So I ordered these. And even though I've already clipped it, I can kind of give you the gist of it. You put this around the CV boot and then adjust it down to the size you need it. And those little teeth right there will grab a hold of this. And once you get it to the right size that you want or need. So you, this little part right here on the top, this that part right there, you would take these and you would essentially put it in there and then push these together and it would pull it up and then push it back down to clamp it and make it like, make it like that. And if you want it flatter, you would just take it and kind of push it down with a hammer or something. However, that will be all for this video. Next video, I will be painting the subframe and the paint that I chose. Even though I have a blue engine bay, the paint that I chose for the subframe is a burnt orange. I know I didn't have to do a, a high temp or engine enamel, but I figured I'd go ahead and do it just since it's going to be down on the uh, around the differential and the exhaust and everything. Alrighty. Well, if y'all like this video, like, subscribe, and have a Merry Christmas.